see this chair here? It might look okay to you, but in person, this head area, very discolored yellow. We haven't even had it for a year, so we need to fix that. We usually just have this blanket over it. I got some cleaning supplies to try to fix it. We have um, some Tide Pen. I have this Folex, which I know is for carpet, but I'm gonna try it. And then I'm gonna try to get the stain out as much as possible. And then I'm going to scotch guard it, which I needed to do from the start. And then, as you can see by the title of the video, we are going to make a cover for the chair, at least that top part of the chair. And then maybe I'll add on later, but still have lots of granny squares. You wanna be on the video? So uh, we're gonna make a little granny square cover. Hi. <laughs> for your chair, huh? Because mom and dad have gross heads that are getting the chair all discolored. Oh, everyone wants to be in the video? Okay. Hello. Hi. <laughs> okay, little binky girl. Let's get to cleaning. Next step is to find our granny squares. So I have a lot of granny squares, but I would like to make them bigger. So I'm just gonna do another round of black, see how big that can get us. I might have to do two, and then we'll measure on the chair. I want these to be on the front, and then on the back, I'll probably just do like a double crochet, going back and forth and hopefully it will slide on top of the chair, if that makes sense. But we just gotta bust out some more granny squares. I thought the granny squares were over with. If you watched my granny square series, I had so many, and I still have so many. So, it's never ending. Let's get to work. a little crazy and I kind of finished the front part of the chair. Earlier today I measured how many squares I would need to cover that top part of the chair. So here is the finished product and I plan on adding a zipper because I want this to be able to be easily removable so that I can wash it because it's a chair for babies and they're gonna probably spit up on it. So. Still here with all our granny squares. I don't know if I'm ever going to finish this project to be honest. I feel like it's been taking forever but I was kind of doing the measurements on the front part and I might need to add a little bit of elastic to make it kind of cinch around the chair because I don't want it to look like not tight fitted to it. So there's just another step that we're gonna have to do, but I think what's taking me so long is that I'm sewing the squares together. I'm not crocheting them together, but I just, I don't know. I just think it looks nicer when you sew them. I don't like a seam being on it, but it definitely takes a very long time. So I'll be here with my granny squares. All right, I finally finished. I wasn't sure that was ever gonna happen. But now I'm gonna work on the back side. I'm going to do two strands of black yarn and use my 10 millimeter crochet hook. So hopefully this goes by quicker. We shall see. Update. So as you know, we finished this one. The back side, I was going to do it black and I was using two strands and it was just taking so freaking long. So I'm using this leftover super thick yarn using two strands and i was able to get it done today so we just have like two more rows left what i think i'm gonna do so that the front and back when i put it together it doesn't look all weird i think i'm gonna do some type of like border in black on this one and then pretty much all we have to do is i'm gonna 
see how it looks fitted to the top. If I need to add some elastics, I'll do that. And then I have my zipper and I am just so excited to be done with this project because it took me a very long time to put all those granny squares together. But I think it's gonna look nice and it's definitely going to be a permanent feature of this chair for as long as I keep the chair, which it was a lazy boy chair and it was very, very comfortable. It was quite expensive though and we're planning on keeping it for all of our babies for their nursery so and honestly I could like get it recovered and stuff in the future but I can see this being my lifelong chair of like when I'm a granny and doing my projects or just like watching tv this will just be my forever chair so this project will be worth it we are almost there I'm gonna hopefully finish this back piece tonight Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Ah, done. <laughs> Here's an update on the chair. Unfortunately, I'm not done and I'm going to make it just go all the way to the bottom of this. But I think it looks pretty good. And the back is with this soft yarn and I think it was actually a better choice than the black because it matches. What do you think? Okay, good. Good. <laughs>